Hello, I'm Dr. Carol Bates, and I'm going to talk to you very briefly about Pixelmator and then demonstrate to you in this short tutorial how to use Pixelmator and the magic wand tool to edit your photo and add some special effects. Pixelmator is a full-fledged image editing app that you created for your Mac. So if you have a Mac, you will want to try out Pixelmator. And the great thing about this app is only $29.99. Can you believe it? And you can download a free trial at Pixelmator.com. So 30-day free trial. This free trial is uh, the full version of the software to see if you like it before you purchase it. Let's get started. Okay, I have downloaded my Pixelmator app and I am ready to open an image. Uh, I have right here, welcome to Pixelmator, open an existing image is where you will want to go and then browse and find your file that you're going to use uh, to edit. I am going to edit a flag. So this is my image that I'm going to start with. And I'm going to open my flag image. Now that we have the image open, we're going to, from our tools, I'm going to drag my little tools far over, we're going to select the magic wand. Here is the magic wand tool. And when I select this, it really works very easily. Just carefully, just drag through and notice how it knows how to select everything except my flag. Isn't that neat? See, it? and when I have this selected all around the flag, but not the flag that's selected. Now notice that you want to have the Add to Selection tool when you are selecting around your flag. If you mess up, you can just control, hold down your control key and tap Z to undo your selection. Or if you want to just subtract part of a selection, select this middle radio button that says subtract from selection. So now I have the area that I'm going to edit selected. And click show effects. Here's our effects browser. And I'm going to change this to favorites. Let's go to favorites. And on favorites, we are going to work with zoom. Now, notice that you can just drag this icon over onto the selected part of the image. And then you can adjust this. Watch, this is just pretty cool right here. See the way that is adjusting? Or you can drag your little slider bar to to get the amount of blur that you would like. Once you get that, you can just be very creative with what you want and then choose OK. If you don't like it, cancel it. If I cancel, it's going to go right back the way it was. So I'm going to try it again because I liked it. Now notice I can also, I can either drag this over or I can just double click on the zoom. It gives me the same effect. I'm going to drag over the amount of my blur, just a little, and click OK. OK, now let's go to Color Adjustments. Color Adjustments, and double click on Brightness. And I'm going to go slide my brightness down some. I want just a little deeper color, and then give it some more contrast. I'm going to drag it on over about like that for some more contrast. Okay, I like that picture, but you can see there's so many things that you can do. But once you finish it, you will probably want to export your picture. I'm going to go to File and then choose Export. And notice that I can export it to different file types. I'm going to choose JPEG. I want a JPEG image. And then Next. And it's just going to um, 
export it as a JPEG. You name your file and determine where you want to save it. And that's all it is to it. Let me know how this works out for you. And if you have any questions, I'll be glad to see if I can answer them. I'll be glad to hear from you at carolhbates.com.